Right, hello again. Um, where are we? Yes, I think I'm going to do a country streak. Uh, diverse world, of course. And yeah, I haven't been having too much time over the last couple of weeks to record, so apologies for that. Um, probably my output of videos has been slightly less regular than you might have come to expect. Been very busy. Election season over here as well. A uh, bit of a distraction. A lot of uh, very, very questionable things going on in this country at the moment. But um, we will see how that goes. Right, let's make a start. And let's try and do a good country streak. Okay, starting in round one, where we are in Ulaanbaatar, I think. I'm pretty sure it has to be. We've got a bit of Cyrillic, and that's a very Mongolian looking hill. You can see a bit of a car, and there's nowhere else in Mongolia which is this uh, built up, I'm pretty sure. So let's put it down in a battle to start with. Somewhere like this. That will do nicely. Right, so that's one. Um, on to number two now. Okay. Uh, highway 160 in the, the US and um, right well I don't think I recognize these places uh, let me have a look around it's kind of dry It'd be worth trying to find this I think given that the first round we scored highly and it's probably possible to do so here I think I'm going to try and get this one because you never know what other rounds you're going to get. I could log a nice PB on Diverse World, no moving. I mean, knowing my luck, I'll spend 10 minutes looking for this and then the next round will just be a field somewhere, but I think you've got to do it while you can. Um, so looking for the 160 and let me just get my thoughts together. So the 160 should go east to west and we have a 190 here I'm just gonna scan around for a bit it should there we go there we go right um we are looking for Kayenta uh Tuba City and does that say Keems Canyon there we go so Tuba City. These all seem to be in different directions. Where's this canyon then? I've lost myself slightly. Hang on now. Right, what are we doing? We're on a road that's at that angle. Where was the 160 sign? It's there. Was there a McDonald's or am I imagining that there is a McDonald's? Um, let me think about this then. We should be... Pizza guys, shout out to the greatest GeoGuessr player of all. Right. Okay, um, I'm not having much luck here. I'm obviously doing something wrong and I'm not thinking clearly. There's a canyon, so. Huh. Really not having my best moment here. Really not having my best moment at all. So it's more or less south to the canyon, north to Tuba City. And then off for Kayenta. It seems like we should be around here, but... Hmm. This is disappointing. I'm probably going to go for it because I am taking way too long now. 
Okay, it was there. How did I not see that McDonald's? Okay, the, the map has changed, that's why. Right, well that took a bit too long. Anyway, is this one going to be doable? Probably not. So it was all possibly for nothing, but you never know. Um, uh, I think it's... I'm thinking of Switzerland. Looking German language-wise, and then... Buildings... And there's a hint of a flag there. Um, and we don't have our EU strips on the number plate. So, Switzerland it is. We might not be able to identify the exact town, but um, should hopefully pick up a decent number of points. I'm going to go up here, actually. Okay, that was a decent choice right two rounds to go and if well if I can pick up decent points we could be on for a great score I'm thinking of Hong Kong immediately but let me just have a think about that uh, could well be Japan I think but let's let's think hard oh I'm really not sure because this style of um Hillside doesn't really look right to me for Hong Kong. Map of an island that could. If we zoom into Hong Kong, it should be. Not Kazakhstan. I'm trying to think if there's anything that, that might fit. Not necessarily that easy to tell, but. A vague shape of bits of Lantau, but nothing conclusive. The, I mean, the country streak is at stake here as well, not just the points. Um, so I really need to think, but there's nothing close enough to really help me decide which country we're in. Any bit of language would really help. This kind of sign, that's um, that's pushing me towards Hong Kong, but really can't see very much. Can't quite see enough hills for me to be confident in going for Hong Kong. So yeah, to sum it up, I'm struggling here. I'm going to go for this. Ah, okay, it was actually Macau. And it probably would have been sensible for me to look at Macau on the map. And that would have fit quite nicely, maybe. That was a bit silly. I don't know why I didn't go and look there. Long a day, that's all I can say. Still, we could get a PB. If we nail this one, it will be a PB. Right. Uh, good luck to me is all I can say. This does not look easy at all. Even though I feel like I've maybe had this round, but maybe it was somewhere else that was on a train track because I cannot remember for the life of me where this is. And I may well not have had this location. I just remember having been placed before on a, on a train track in somewhere that looked kind of similar to this. Anyway... That kind of blue, um, very kind of wide, flat looking sign reminds me of Russia, Ukraine. But, um, yeah, don't know what else I can add. Hmm. Right, uh, I feel like I'm going to go for Russia, partly based on the number plate. I think Ukraine, you'd be more likely to see that blue strip. You can't make much of that, that building. Uh, what else would be possible? Uh, 
scary or something, I don't know. And with this landscape, I don't really know where in Russia I'd go. So yeah, I'm, I'm stumped here, I might get this one horribly wrong. Oh god. Oof. Over here, that makes per um, it makes perfect sense. I was, I was trying to think of somewhere in this part of Russia that could fit, but nothing was really working in my head. And I guess I've never, or very, very rarely, have I had locations that have been right down here in um, Dagestan. I mean, I've had this town a few times in urban world, but. Beyond that, I don't think I've ever really had a location down here. Yeah, well, the score, it didn't happen. We had four very close ones, but then the fifth one couldn't quite get those points. But we did get five countries right in a row, so we carry on. And now that that um, quest to get 24, 800 plus is out of the way, I can maybe speed up a little bit and continue the streak. Danish looking sign. Um, so let's go for that. There we go. A nice round 4900. Now, this is for number 7. This one looks potentially doable as well. Seems like we're in Portugal based on this flag. So, uh, let's think. Right, okay, let me think about this. I don't think it's Coimbra. Unless I'm sorely mistaken. Maybe it is. No, I don't think so. I don't think it's Porto, but I think it could be maybe somewhere like Braga or um Oh no, Gimaresh, there we go. There we go. So close. Right, so you never know. We could be on for another good score if we don't get scuppered by round five again. Um, I think this lot are playing Arsenal in the Europa League at the moment. I might be wrong. I need to check that one. Right, I should be able to pinpoint. I'm just, just my brain is working at about two miles an hour. Long day, as I said. Should right, okay, let's have a look. Come on. Uh somewhere around here, surely. Postori Turismo. What was this again? This was a museum, wasn't it? Uh da, da, da. Hmm. Ooh. Nothing is easy for my poor old brain at the moment. Uh We should really be central. And there is a, a kind of cathedral down here. Church. What is that likely to be? Oh, we might be here. This seems quite good because this looks like this. Okay. I think I've got it, more or less. This museum, maybe? That seems close enough to me, yeah. Right, uh, okay, that's the end of that. And maybe even the end of the streak, because God knows where this is. Let me think, we're on round eight, we've got seven. And this is, sun could be helpful here. Sun, possibly north, hard to tell for sure. Uh, Brazil, came to mind fairly early on and if the sun is north then that would give a bit of weight to that but we can't be sure I'll go for Brazil it was 
and I was miles away, as I always am in Brazil. That's one thing you can always rely on when you watch a, a Geography Challenges video. Lovely stuff. Right, we carry on at least. We're on eight countries, so that's good. Um, let's try and keep it up. We've got a blurred out car, so we can't work anything out from that. Other than that, we're driving on the right. Um, this kind of Eastern European architecture. Just trying to think about where that might belong to. This is almost looking Baltic. Hmm. Gonna struggle here. I'm gonna go for Lithuania before I overthink it. Get in, come on. Whew. Yeah, I wasn't too sure about that one, but I do have these sometimes I'm not great in the Baltics, but sometimes I have these um architectural clues for Lithuania that I can't quite describe, but I kind of recognise them when I, when I see them. Sometimes, I mean, I obviously I make mistakes a lot of the time around there, but it does seem to work sometimes. And now this one, what the hell? Right, we've got RANS, that's the only bit of language it looks like we're going to get. Um, right, okay. feel like I've seen places like this in uh, Bulgaria or something like that, but not the best clues really. This donkey is putting me off as well. This kind of architecture, I'm thinking of Bulgaria to be honest. Let me. Right, I'm. I'm really. Uh, yeah, I don't know. A couple of other things I'm seeing are really throwing me off. Something about that stop sign there. It's something. It's almost of the Americas, but I have to ignore that because I do think we're in Bulgaria, or at least not far away. I'm gonna go for Bulgaria. moment of truth this is for 10 which is really where it starts to get serious so I'm really counting on this being right but who knows please come on right where is this gonna be oh my god that turned out to be a great guess Oof. Yeah, I mean, there was a split second where I was thinking of Turkey, but I, I didn't think about it for too long. But um, I did, yeah, I, I was I was thinking of this end of Bulgaria because there was something a bit more Greek slash Turkish about it, maybe. But it turned out we were literally a stone's throw from both of them. Oh, I'm so lucky. I really felt like that could have gone horribly wrong. So I've had, um, yeah, two games where I've, I've got all the countries right and I've had generally four good guesses and one that's not been quite so good, but I've still managed to get the country right. So that's ten and that is that leaves me very happy. But obviously I want more, so let's go. Right, what have we got here? Driving on the can't tell. But I'm already thinking of Indonesia or something like that. Looks like we're going to have a fair few clues. Language fits. Uh, I think we just have to rule out Malaysia now. Hmm. <coughs> Banjar. Banjar. Something. Sulimampir Baru. I do think we're in Indonesia, but I'm pretty sure we are in Indonesia. I'm just trying to think of where. 
Banjarmasin. Ah, oh, there should be enough here for me to work something out, but for some reason nothing is clicking. And as I've said, my brain is really struggling a bit today. Um, Banjarmasin seems to be the place, doesn't it? I might not worry too much about this. Banjar Nagara, there we go. So something that is similar at least, but another Bandar Lampung. Oh no, sorry, Banjar, not Bandar. Come on, I need to switch on. Um I'm just gonna put it just gonna put it in Java and just decide that I'm not gonna worry too much about this one because I'm pretty sure we're in the right country, but yeah, let's see. <sighs> Oof. Oh, I sh maybe should have known that. I'm surprised that that didn't ring a bell. Because it's quite big on the map, isn't it? Oh well, I learn from that one, I guess. But we're on 11, we're still going strong. Which is good, and now we are in, oh good god, what's this? I mean, we're in Australia or New Zealand, but which one? Surely New Zealand. It's just that these trees looked... Okay, for a second I thought they were very Australian-looking trees. Maybe not so much. I think we're in New Zealand, despite the yellow road markings, which obviously you don't often see. But I'm still convinced it has to be New Zealand. Climate. Landscape signs over there make it seem like we're driving on the right let's go for it this is for 12 there we go Whew. second time recently that I've uh, not spotted the bottom of South Island in New Zealand had a, um, a volcano erupt today which is bad news I really would actually quite like to go there but, yep, yeah, as you can see, it's a long way away for me. One day, who knows? Right, on to round 13. Okay, right, we seem to be... Let me think. Okay, we've got a bit of Spanish. Oh, yeah. Entrada. Okay, what else? Now that sun is going to be key, isn't it? And it's going to throw me off. Mexico came to mind first. Let me just put that out there. And actually, that says alto, which is stopping, which means, that means stop. It's what they use on the signs in North American Spanish-speaking countries, but not in South American ones. So that really makes me quite confident that it's Mexico. You can just see it. I mean, if we were about half a meter further this way, you wouldn't be able to read it. Uh, but yeah, now I'm sure we're in Mexico. And that sun can go to hell for all I care, because it was bound to throw me off. It does actually look more in the north, so God knows what tricks that would have played on my mind. Um... Yeah, let's go for Mexico. Get in, come on. Still going strong. And this is for 14. Uh, has the look of maybe Iceland or something like that first off. But let's have a look around. Okay. Still, still think it looks like Iceland. To be honest. Any proper clues here? There's an anchor there, but I can't read what it says below. I think I'll go for Iceland, lack of trees as well, apart from in the gardens, which I guess is a bit different. Let's do it, come on, for 14. Whew. Okay, interesting. It's not quite an island, but almost. Well, we got the country right, and this is for 15, so we're closing in on 
the kind of territory of country streaks which are among my best. I've had 25, but my second best is 16. So, and I've had 16 about three or four times. Um, so yeah, 15 would be very good if we can work this out. So, what have we got here? We have got very interesting looking mountainside. I mean, thinking it's possibly Europe, and actually that rift in the sky might help us. I was thinking, yeah, it's 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 possibly or probably Europe, but these formations are quite weird for Europe, really. Don't see that kind of thing too much. So Montenegro or Albania, God. I'm bound to go for the wrong one. I was about to click in Montenegro, but I suddenly went for Albania. I'm bound to go for the wrong one. Ah, God. Hmm. I don't like where this is going. I feel like Albania has some of these hidden beauties. I feel like in Montenegro this would be something that I'd something that I knew about or not something I knew about because there's not necessarily anything particularly special about this place but I kind of just assume that I would have seen something like this in Montenegro that I would have remembered whereas I think there's a bit more unknown in Albania it could be you know somewhere like this I'm gonna go for Albania I'm really a bit 50 50 here but I'm gonna go for Albania for 15 and then god knows what happens after that if this one's right please 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 be albania come on yes we're still going we are still going we're on 15 and we start again and this is for 16 so what have we got let's have a little look okay Right. Hmm. I've lost all the confidence that I've built up over those last three games. Now I'm really not sure. France occurred to me, but this sign doesn't seem right. Some of the trees don't seem right. I was wondering. Before I looked in any more detail, I was kind of thinking of this uh, kind of Atlantic coast area near Bordeaux. It has a name this area, but I can't remember. Poland came to mind afterwards. Poland seems like a better bet once I look at the trees in a bit more detail and once I look at the signs and that kind of thing. I could be wrong altogether though. But I still think that's going to end up being my guess. So this is for 16. I really wanted a nice easy one to get me over 16. But it wasn't to be. I probably should know something about some of these bollards. But I tend not to um, spend much effort on those kind of things. Because I like to just play. I should remember. I don't know. I'm just going to go for it. Ah, oh, God's sake. It was here. Of all places. I'm always looking at these bits on the map. That makes me sound like a bit of a sad character, but I assure you I'm not. As you can tell from the fact that I have a, a GeoGuessr YouTube channel. No, I'm joking. Only, only legends have GeoGuessr YouTube channels. Um... Yeah, that's annoying because these spits of land always fascinate me, but I just never, I guess I never learned how to spot them on GeoGuessr, so maybe I'll learn from that again. But that wasn't too easy, and we really weren't too far away. Uh, I had a great run there, really, but I ended up on, what was it, 15, yeah, 16 caught me out, so... Yeah, wasn't to be. Um, probably going to stop here. 
happy with 15 though for my first attempt in a in a I don't know in a couple of weeks probably so yeah uh thanks a lot for watching hopefully I will be able to find some time to record the next three elimination to release that later in the week um also yep yeah, keeping my fingers crossed for our election if that interests anybody who knows maybe not anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon